Virtually anyone who flies will, from time to time, find it necessary to cope with a crosswind condition. In the following takeoffs and landings, the crosswind is averaging 15 miles an hour and varying 30 to 45 degrees from the right. The crosswind component is between 7 and 11 miles an hour. It's good practice to keep the aircraft on the center line of the runway. The flight controls are used as necessary during the takeoff roll and initial climb out to maintain the flight path along the center line. Since we have a right crosswind, we'll use full right aileron at the beginning of the takeoff, reducing aileron as the control effectiveness increases. After liftoff, a gentle, coordinated turn establishes the crab angle for climb out along the runway center line. A common error during crosswind takeoff is failure to hold proper aileron just prior to and during liftoff. Another error is not setting up a crab angle after liftoff. Before landing, it's always necessary to establish the direction of the wind. At a controlled airport, of course, this information will be readily available by radio. Otherwise, look for the wind tees, wind socks, or other indications in the area, like dust, smoke, waves on ponds, or sailboats. Under normal conditions, this would be the optimum flight path. However, failure to anticipate the effect of a tailwind component will result in overshooting the center line and will require S turning to line up on final. A headwind component on base leg may cause the unwary pilot to make a long, shallow, and low turn to final approach. Crosswind landings seem to create more apprehension than others. This may be due to the unnatural aircraft attitudes involved. Pilots should be assured, however, that crosswind landings are quite normal and the aircraft is designed for them within specified limitations. However, if the crosswind component is approaching 20% of stall speed, pilots are advised to divert to more suitable runways or airports. There are three methods used to compensate for crosswind crab into the wind so that the flight path continues straight with the center line of the runway. Or you can establish a slip, which means lowering the wing into the wind to compensate for the drift and thus continue a straight path to the runway. Or you may combine the techniques of crabbing and slipping to maintain a center line approach. Your approach speed should be normal except when the wind is gusty. Then of course, you must add in about one half of the gust factor. Before reaching the roundout, change from a crab to the slip to compensate for drift. Your attitude during roundout is wing low on the upwind side of the airplane. Rudder is used to prevent a turn resulting from holding the wing low. Use the controls as necessary to make a normal landing. After landing, increase aileron as necessary to keep the wings level and to aid in directional control. In both takeoffs and landings, the goal is to keep the center line of the aircraft aligned with the center line of the runway.